just after a column, a young uh, antlerless uh, fellow, uh, male, and everything checked out okay. But um, I've come across a few abnormalities which I've spotted. I'm suspecting liver fluke, but it's an unusual colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up those lesions. I've grollocked my deer so, and I'm finished up so. Yeah, I suspect liver fluke. Everything else checked out. Lungs were all fine. Overall deer's health fine. Submaxillary glands were fine, retropharyngeal glands were fine. The only abnormality noticed was in the liver, but I already see them coming out. Yeah. can actually see, I'll open it up a little bit more for you. There you can actually see the liver fluke. Coming out. It's unusual to have liver fluke in such a young animal, but there's a there we go. Now observe them. As you can see, they're a living uh, parasite. You can see this one is more active. And moving away. This does have an effect on the deer's health but as I said it's very unusual to have liver fluke in such a young animal. As you can see by the size of the lungs and that. But everything else checked out fine. There's the gland at the back of the lungs. Everything looked normal. A um, little bit of red inside the lungs but as it was shot it was headshot um, sometimes to take a gasp and can breathe some blood into the lungs but just said I'd show you that abnormality as I say it's rare and it's an unusual colouring and they're actually hard hard lumps but uh, definitely liver fluke and there you have them moving along so we'll carefully dispose of this and as I said everything else checked out okay and I have my deer hanging for collection when I'm finished up. Hope you found that interesting.